Today we're gonna look at filling in some porosity on an old ring. So right here you can see there's a lot of porosity in these holes, a lot of pitting. This is pretty simple to do with your Orion Pulse Arc welder. Currently I am using the Orion 150S. What I'm gonna do here is I have a clean, sharp electrode and I have argon gas flowing. As I'm gonna make a weld, I'm first gonna make a weld in those pits where they are at. Just this is the idea is to uh, to fill on the pits, to smooth them out so they're not rough. Make it easier to fill in later with wire. Now I have my settings currently at 10 watt seconds with none agitation. I'm just gonna come in here and touch in the center of that pit. Make a few small welds around it, just smooth it out. Okay. Even grab my glass brush real quick and wipe off any soot if I wanted to. Now at this point, I'm gonna add some filler wire. This is 28 gauge wire that I'm using here. Now as I weld this, I'm gonna lay that wire right where I want it to flow. And I'm gonna to touch the electrode to the ring next to the wire. I'm not gonna to touch the wire, I'm gonna to touch the ring next to the wire. So you can see as I'm welding that, that wire's already attaching in that hole. So I'm gonna kinda of do that same thing over and over in that same location. Okay, stuck it there. I got a little gunk on my electrode. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that real quick. And I'll return to this here in a second. All right, my electrode's been cleaned now. I'm gonna go back over this again. And that's working much better for me. I also extended the electrode a little bit so I'd have better access. Yeah, that's looking good. So you can see this whole pit that was right there, there's a lot of material in there now if you can see that in the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and maybe just hit the sides of it to smooth it out, pull it around with me, make sure it gets everywhere it needs to go. Okay, let's go to this next one. This is a big hole right here. I'm just gonna start adding metal into it. Okay, so I've been adding material here for a minute. I've got these holes filled in right here, with some extra material. I got this right here, adding into this little hole right here. It's looking pretty good. Oh, spot right there I missed, hold on. Let's get some material right here. pretty good break that off what I want to do now is I'm going to turn up my settings I'm going to go ahead and take off some of this soot so I've been at about 10 for the last little bit adding material let's go ahead and bump it up to let's say 15 and now I'm just going to hit it straight on perpendicular uh, and just kind of smooth it out a little bit just in case there are some you know micro porosity that didn't quite get filled. Higher energy can get us a little bit more penetration. Gonna help smooth out all that material I added in there. So I'm just moving from spot to spot here. I'm actually turn up just a little bit more. Let's go up to say 18. And again, I have none agitation right now. 
If this was a harder metal like stainless steel, I would use agitation. But for silver, for white gold, for softer metals, I find I don't typically like using it. But it is a preference thing, it's up to you. All right, so it doesn't look pretty yet, but we got lots of material there. I'm gonna go polish it down and we'll see how we did. All right, so I did some polishing and you can see there's still quite a bit of porosity here. On the bright side, it's not as deep as it was, just around the edges where I was welding and it's just a, a few little cracks. So I'm just gonna go ahead and weld right there again. Might not even need to add material because there was still enough on the side there. It just didn't get, it just wasn't pulled down into where I was at there. So, that's all right. Again, everything was filled up. There's just a few places that need a little extra attention. I'm going to turn down my energy. Let's go back down to 10 once more. It's a good idea to get rid of this soot so it doesn't get mixed up into the weld. I'm gonna go polish again and get a better look at it. Okay, back again. This is looking much better. Obviously there's still a small little few holes in here that I need to fill in, but I can do that quick and easy. We started off with great big gouges in this ring. Um, this will be very quick to fill in these ones right here. I'm gonna turn down my energy just a little bit. So I've been at 10, let's go down to, oh, I don't know, let's just say eight. And it's okay to do a little trial and error on finding settings here. Just gotta find something that works best for what for what you're working on. All right, so we got a little pit right here. Let's just add a little bit of material right there. Look at that, nice and easy. Perfect. Little right here. Again, I'm not touching the wire, I'm touching the ring with the electrode. Okay, that's plenty of material right there. Okay, let's go to this little hole right here. these settings. Eight's really nice. Okay, let's go down to this one. All right, let's put a clip back on. Always a good idea to change your angle. Kind of go at it from different directions here. See, as I'm welding this spot right here, there is a pit opening up underneath it. So obviously there was some air pockets here in the metal as it was formed. And that we are opening back up as we're adding metal and as we're welding. Which means we have to add more material to fill it back in. This hole is bigger than I wanted it to be, but that's all right, we'll just work around it. All right, so that looks better. Okay, let's move down a little bit more to some of these small holes. Again, probably one shot's all we need there. Yeah, beautiful.
All right, now that I added some more material in there, I'm gonna go polish it one last time. Hopefully that should cover all of our holes. All right, I just finished buffing that really quickly until it looks much, much better. So now I think we can take it, we can finish polishing it, and I bet we can make it look brand new. So again, not too hard, pretty simple to add to fill in porosity. Um, feel free to take your time on it and uh, go over the same spot several times as you need to. And it's all right, it's gonna take a little bit of practice at first, but you'll get it down no problem.